Now that the extension is installed, we're ready to record our first video. To record your video, simply navigate to the Screencastify extension icon, which is on the right of your address bar. Once you're there, you might notice that there are three different recording types for Screencastify. We'll start with recording our webcam. Webcam recordings are perfect when you want to speak directly to your students. Instead of capturing your screen, Screencastify will only capture your video and your microphone. You can even select the microphone that you'd like Screencastify to record. We'll pick up any microphone connected via Bluetooth, USB, or your internal microphone. The same is true for your camera. If you have a camera connected via USB, you can record with that one by selecting the drop-down menu, or select more options in order to start a countdown. If you'd prefer to show your screen in the video, you might like a desktop recording, which will record everything happening on your computer, including things happening outside of Google Chrome. Once you've selected a desktop recording, you have the option to select the microphone you'd like, as well as the webcam you'd like. Under Show More Options, you have a few additional options here. Of course, you can still have a countdown. However, you can also show your drawing tools. This will allow Screencastify to embed our annotation tools on the bottom left of your screen so that you can draw all over the screen as you record. The last type of Screencastify recording is a browser tab recording. This tells Screencastify to capture everything underneath the address bar on one specific tab. This is perfect if you'd like to show a Google Slides presentation, or you're reasonably certain that you will not navigate away from a particular browser tab during your recording. Similar to other Screencastify recordings, you get the opportunity to select what webcam and microphone you'd like to use. Underneath Show More Options, you can enable the countdown as well as our drawing tools. You'll also notice a new option, Enabling Tab Audio. This tells Screencastify that you'd like it to capture the audio coming from your computer. This is perfect if you'd like to capture the audio coming from a YouTube video or a Spotify audio track in order to jazz up your recording. Once you've gotten all the options just the way you'd like, you can go ahead and press record. You'll notice a countdown. Three, two, one, and we're off. On the bottom left of our screen are our annotation tools. The first one is our focus mouse, which is perfect for showing the viewer something specific on screen. For example, I might want to put the spotlight on Dallas. Once I'm done, I can go back to the annotation tools to select a different mouse effect. For example, I might want to hide my cursor when it's not moved. Once I stop moving it, it completely disappears from screen. Or I might want to highlight my specific clicks, Kansas City, Indianapolis, and Tampa to make sure my viewer knows exactly what I'm talking about. If you prefer to draw on screen, you can move over to our pen tool, select the color, and then start annotating. I'm going to show you all the places I've lived, from Houston to Miami, Miami to Bowling Green, back down to Miami, and then from Miami to Chicago to join the Screencastify squad. Once I'm done with my narration, I might want to get rid of the drawing on screen. Simply press the Erase Screen tool to get rid of everything. Of course, you can also use the Eraser tool to get rid of certain lines, but not others. You can click on this Embed Webcam at any time throughout the recording in order to show your face. This is perfect for switching between having viewers focus on the screen and having them focus on your words. By clicking the extension icon, you also have a ton more options. Click the trash icon to discard your recording if you didn't quite like what you said. Use the restart recording button in order to discard your current recording and start a new one immediately with the exact same settings. 
You can also use our pause recording button to do the same thing that it does in the annotation toolbar. Screencastify will temporarily stop recording and then begin recording again once you press the play button. Once you're completely satisfied with your recording, go ahead and press that stop button. Screencastify will automatically start saving to Google Drive. In our next video, we'll talk about editing your video so that it's polished and ready to be viewed by your audience.